This is Unit 2, Part 2, Scientific Notation. We've seen scientific notation before in this unit. It's a number in the form of a times 10 to the b, where we call a the coefficient. This is going to be a number that's between 1 and 10. And then this is going to be multiplied by 10 to a power, and that power is given by b, and that's going to be the exponent. Anytime we have a positive exponent, that means that our number is going to be greater than 1. And when we have a negative exponent, the number is less than 1. So if we were to write out 4.2 times 10 to the third, this means we're going to move the decimal three places, and that would give us 4, 2, 0, 0. Notice we move the decimal place to the right three places, so we have to put in these extra zero placeholders and this number is bigger than 1 because there is a positive exponent. However, over here, we have a negative exponent, so this number will be less than 1, and we move the decimal one place to get beside the 3, and then we still have three more places to move it, so this would be 0 0.000368. Notice we've moved the decimal 1, 2, 3, 4 places. And that corresponds with the 4, and the negative means it's less than 1. Okay, going for some more practice. When you have the long version of the number, you need to put the decimal after the first non-zero number. In that case, it's going to be the 5. So we have 5 points. And then we're going to put all of the other sig figs. In this case, we have the 2 and the three only. We don't include any of these zeros because they're all trailing with no decimal. If, however, there was a line above one of these zeros to indicate that it was significant, we would have to include all of those zeros after the three to show that they were also significant. Since they're not, we'll just move forward. So here's our coefficient, taking our non-zero numbers. Now we're gonna multiply that by 10 to the power that the decimal got moved. In that case, the decimal would have been here. We moved it 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Notice, however, that we still have to go two more places to get behind the 5. So don't assume that this is times 10 to the 6 because there are 6 zeros. We also have these two numbers to go past, so this would be times 10 to the 8th. Notice it's a positive exponent because this number is greater than 1. Here, our coefficient is going to be 4.8 times 10. This number is less than 1 because there are leading zeros, so we know the exponent is going to be negative, and we move the decimal 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 places. Here the coefficient is 2.5 times 10. Decimal is here. 1, 2, 3 places. Positive bigger than 1. This is 1.5 times 10. We only move the decimal place one time, so this is going to be 10 to the negative 1. It's less than 1. Notice when we get to 5, it's already in some sort of scientific notation. However, it's not standard where the coefficient is between 1 and 10. So we have to move the decimal place over two places. So our coefficient would be 4.263. However, we can't just leave it at that because we changed this number. So in order to make these equal, we have to adjust the exponent as well. Notice that we <coughs> moved the decimal place two places, so we essentially made this number smaller by two powers of 10. So since we reduce this by two powers of 10, we have to increase this by two powers of 10. Whatever we do to the coefficient, we have to do the opposite to the exponent in order to make this number the same. If we lowered both of these, we would make this number smaller. Likewise, if we increased both of these, we would make the number bigger, and then they would not be equal. So this would be 4.263 times 10 to the 4 plus 2 is 6. If you have trouble seeing that, you could just write it out into regular form. So we would have 4263 moving the decimal place, 1, and then we have 3 more, so 1, 2, 3, 
After you write it out, you could convert it into standard scientific, noticing that the coefficient would be 4.263 times 10 to the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So either way you want to do it is fine. Doing it this way will save you some time. More practice with the non-standard coefficient would be 5.2. We make this number bigger by three places. So we need to make this number smaller by three. So five minus three is times 10 to the second. Here our coefficient is 5.19. We make this number smaller by two places. So this needs to be bigger by two, but notice that we have negative six plus two, so that will become negative four. Negative four will be two places bigger than the negative six. And finally for this, 5.28 times 10. We make this bigger by one, two places. So if that's bigger by two, this needs to get smaller by two. So negative seven minus two is going to be negative nine. Now that was going from the regular number to standard scientific. Now we're going to go the opposite way from standard scientific into a regular number with all of the leading and trailing zeros. So here we have six places to move the decimal. So this would be one, two, but we still have four more places. So we need zeros as placeholders. So five, seven, three, one, two, three, four. Here it this is a negative exponent, so this number is going to be less than 1 and therefore have leading zeros. So we have a 4 and a 2. And the number of zeros in front of this will always be 1 less because we have to move one place to get past this 4. And then we saw three more places. So we have 1, 2, 3 zeros in front. Put our decimal and you can add that 0. Bigger than 1 are positive exponents, so this number will be greater than 1. 3, 1, 5. Move to two places here. We have an additional 6 to get up to 8. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And last, negative exponent, number less than 1. We'll have one place here. Then we still need 6 zeros. So it will always be one less when the exponent is negative. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So notice that we moved it seven spaces to get the negative seven. And that completes scientific notation.